got a dog, baby, I love her so Nothing else like her anywhere you go A man, she, anything Hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Let's Play Pardon me So, we are in Dr. Amari's office uh, memory lab, whatever this is called. Ooh. Do you mind if I? Huh. <laughs> um. So yeah, we. Ooh. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> how did he know I was taking stuff? So, we, we were uh, just in this thing and took a trip down Kellogg's memory lane, Rob Fund. includes the Grognak the Barbarian holotape game. Oh, well, not that I'll ever have time to just play that, right? Well, so yeah, Kellogg's memories, which wasn't all that fine. It really wasn't. It was actually kind of sad and disturbing and <sighs> saw Sean there and he's not a little baby anymore. He's a boy. He's a 10 year old boy. <sighs> Missed his whole childhood. His whole growing up. Ah, oh, I can't take this stuff. Ugh. Nick? What's up here? Irma. So Irma's that woman down there, right? So this must be maybe possibly Dr. Amari's bedroom. Okay. Anywho. So now we have another quest to find Virgil in the glowing sea. Yes. Um, where's that at? Um, so this is the glowing sea then. And that's a long way from here. But we need to find like a lot of radiation resisting stuff. Um, power armor or uh, something. Okay, there's Nick. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. Oh. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Nick. What? What did you say? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Ah. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Um. You are creepy now. We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. Yeah. That or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. That sounds like a better idea. Anyway, let's, let's go. get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Okay. Um. Hey, you uh, got a sec? Yeah, yeah. Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing. <laughs> you but, have antlers. Uh, well, I know I can trust <laughs> you at this point. Okay. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these uh, flashes, memories of places I've never been, things I've never seen. Kellogg's memories, maybe. Memories of Nick's. Oh. They're not bad. They're just. Um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. Hmm. That I'm not a person at all. Oh, I'm just a you're machine. A person. No, you're a person, pretending Nick. Pretending to be human. 
No, you're, you're not just pretending. You think. You feel. You're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks <laughs> tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them... Without them, I'm nothing. No. A shell. Nick. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. But you do. Yes, you do. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're, you're a real good friend. Thanks. Aww. No problem, Nick. You're a good guy. And you, you are know, a person. There is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Oh. Well, what kind? What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, mm. hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. I, rem I remember him? I do? Hmm. A sub shop? Eddie Winter was from my time real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death. Live forever. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only yeah. Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. A radiation ex... Oh. Nick, you can't be saying what I think you're saying. Oh, I'm saying it all right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. <sighs> of course he did. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm hmm. gonna find him and kill him. So that never happened. Kill him. You in? Why? Why do you want to? Why don't just? Why don't you just leave him there? I mean, what can one ghoul do? I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. It's uh, it's nothing. Just some old business of Nick's that needs taken care of. Justice has to be served. Now, are you in or not? Ah, uh, sure, Nick. But I don't believe you. I think there's something more to this. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. Right. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winter's. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup a 
before getting swarmed by ferals. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I'll bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Okay. Ten of them. Ten different locations. That's a lot of places to go. Find Eddie Winter Hollow Tapes. Malden Center. And we've been there. We've actually been there. Did we pick up the holotape there? I can't remember if we went into the police station while we were there. Um. No, that's a different quest. Oh, uh, well. Is there another one? Oh, okay, so it's just telling us to go there first. <clears throat> so we have to go to Malden first, and I guess then it will show us where the next one is. So we must not have picked it up then. Huh. Really? I remember picking up something like that, though. Um, what, what? Okay. Eddie Winter... Holotape 1. No, because he just gave me that, actually. He just gave me the first one. So we didn't pick up any. Huh, okay. So, let's read Eddie Winter case notes. Eddie Winter's self-inflicted ghoul. <laughs> He's a self-inflicted ghoul. Age 200 plus. Offense is too many to count. Oops. Location, underground bunker Andrew Station, sealed with a 10-digit code. Each tape has one piece of the entry code, ten tapes total, nine left, Cambridge Police, Evidence Terminal, best lead for finding other tapes. Okay, so if we go to Cambridge Police Station, we might find other, the locations for the other tapes there. Possible remaining holotape locations, Commonwealth Police Departments, BADTA, TFL, blah, headquarters. Okay. All right, Eddie Winter holotape number one. Message to Johnny Montrano. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You fat, lazy piece of shit. I knew. I knew this arrangement was too good to be true. Let's join forces with the North End, huh? Bury the hatchet? Work mutually against a common enemy? Well, you put the nail in that coffin, huh, boyo? What did you have to do, Johnny? Huh? What was your job? Sit in your car, on the corner. Keep your eyes open. If you see a uniform, you get out. Walk down the street, knock on the door, and let the fellas know there's trouble coming. Easy as pie, right? I could have got a nine-year-old from the projects to do it, but no. In the interest of Irish-Italian relations, I give the job to you. So what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. You sit on your fat ass dribbling cannoli cream onto your third chin. You watch. You watch the uniform blow months of planning, all in two minutes. Congratulations, Johnny. You got me. You and your pal sure put the screws to old Eddie Winter. You should tell this funny story to your little girl when you tuck her in at night. In that corner bedroom, upstairs, pink wallpaper, little house on Prince Street. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Eddie Winter, <clears throat> signing off. All right. Well, hmm. so number nine. There was a nine in there. Nine-year-old girl. So the first number is nine. Yeah, I'm not going to remember that. By the time we finally collect all the other ones. So, <clears throat> well, maybe we should do that next. Go hunt down all those hollow tapes. That's going to take a long time, Nick. But, you know, whatever. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now, I know you all are doing your own thing. But I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Ah. He Morowski. <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? 
We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly Commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their synths. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office. Is that a mailman? You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. Jet? They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my <laughs> own personal beef with that lard head. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, yeah. who's scared of the Institute? Not us. Of us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hell 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 the people! For the people! Keep it down! The Diamond hey. City radio signal comes in loud and clear. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. No, what a day, huh? You look familiar. You sound familiar. All right, Nick. <clears throat> um, the third rail. Let's go see what that is. And we should probably maybe find a place to spend the night. I don't even know what time it is, but it's dark. Okay. Hi. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Thanks. So it's down into the subway. I see you looking round the corner. Come on inside and pull up Good. a chair. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is. I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. No, I'm not either. You there. We need to have a conversation. We do? Why? Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always you looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Oh. Um. <laughs> sign me up. I don't even know what, what. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. Okay. And that you'll be paid fairly. Um. Okay, just. I'm supposed to just sign up without even knowing what the job is. That's. But I do need money to spend it all on concrete. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I was I'm Edward Deegan. Hi. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. Okay. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. Beacon. I'll let him know you're coming. Okay. Special delivery. Talk to Jack Cabot. All right, where's Beacon Hill? Oh, first I need to... There we go. Oh, that's actually really not that far away from here. We could maybe stop by there on the way to Malden. Hmm? Sure. All right, well, let's kind of... We need to clear up our quests here. I got too many... Yeah, we're not doing that one right now. We've got too many quests active, and I have no idea where I'm going here. So, we'll head to Malden, and we'll stop at Jack Cabot's house on the way there. Because we could totally use some money. He's in the back room. Talk to McCready. Okay, 
we supposed to talk to some guy named McCready for some reason, Nick? Where'd you go? God, I love this song. Okay, what are you doing back there? Okay, well let's um, let's go see this guy called McCready then. I don't. I didn't actually. I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. Hey, I'm just nice here style. to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, gunners. I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to These work for us. These guys are gunners. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Hey. <clears throat> Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. A hired gun? I like your outfit. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? Couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised though. That's how it goes when you run with the gunners. The gunners? Never heard of the gunners. Well, no, yes, Who I are have. they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. <sighs> Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but they never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Um, well, because I don't shoot people in the back. I might shoot them in the back of the head, if they're gunners. You always are suspicious. Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking Fine. a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? Well, um... Maybe I'll just not... He's so... He's for hire. But I have Nick with me right now, and we're gonna go do... The Eddie Winter stuff, so... I don't know, maybe I'll come back. If my caps aren't good enough to answer that question, I can take him somewhere else. Alright, alright. Need to get your panties in a bunch. Tell you what. Price is 250 caps. Up front and non-negotiable. I'll think about it. Let me think about it. It's not like the meter's running. Take your time. I got plenty. I like his outfit. He's got... He's got rifle rounds all over him. <laughs> and binoculars. Are you a sniper? Hmm. <laughs> because that would be cool. Yeah? No, nothing. I'm just talking to myself. Come on, Nick. <laughs> It would be cool to have a sniper buddy, wouldn't it? No offense, Nick, but you're not the best uh, spotter for me. I mean, people spot you. <laughs> but you usually don't see the bad guys before I do. Where are we going? Oh, right. We were going to try to find a place to... Now, see. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. But a flying ship. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Can't believe it. Uh -oh. He looked just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town. They've got another oh, thing coming. <sighs> what am I going to tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. Okay, good job. Glad you took care of him. Thanks. At least synth doubles die just like the real thing, right? Adios. Okay. I mean, if he was a 
t I, I don't know. I guess. I mean, what if he wasn't bad, though? I mean, all synths aren't bad. Like, that one. Right there. You just don't shoot Nick, okay? Oh, a hotel. Let's go inside. Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. <sighs> Maybe if you stop Excuse using, me. You focus. What? Um, you have a customer. The fun in cooking it if you ain't using it. My mistake. Oh man, someone new. You need some jet man, home brewed, reasonable prices? No. I'm not. I don't. Gonna pass. Oh, uh, that's cool. Maybe next time. Yeah. No. <laughs> Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms. One room specifically. Payment due up front. Okay. <laughs> Deal. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. All right. This was a nice hotel once, wasn't it? Not anymore. That's for sure. Top floor, okay. And when you come to the hallway, the last one on the right. Vault tech what? rep. No, it can't. It, 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 it's you. It's you. From Sanctuary Hills. From Sanctuary right? Hills. Wait, are you from Vault tech I am Vault tech <laughs> 20 years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. Yeah. 200 years and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? Um. The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, yeah. and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. I can see a that. freak. <laughs> um, sorry? I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know... You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh... Really? I, you haven't talked to other ghouls? Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. <laughs> I know a, a settlement that wants ghouls. Hey, yeah, go to... S oh... That probably won't work. I can try to... I'll try. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? Ah, it works. You... You will? Yeah. Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? Yeah. I'll see you there. I promise. I go there once in a while. Wow, okay. Um, I can't remember which door they said it was. The last one on the right. Yuck. Wow. What a dive. Hey look, we can see down into the neighbor's... <laughs> oh, yuck. Whatever. Okay. It's a bed. Let's sleep. And... And we'll sit out in the morning. <sighs> that was a disgusting night's sleep. Was. You're lucky you don't have to sleep in beds like that, Nick. Um. Maybe you should put a railing here or something? A dresser or. Well, this room's, uh. Wow. 
They couldn't patch up the walls, huh? These people don't do anything. They just stand around all day and they don't they don't repair their their hotel. They don't try to make it look better. See, that's something I just don't understand. I don't understand. You rub a hole in the top of your counter, but you won't fix the holes in the well, look at this. Hey there. You're new round good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you yes. think of the place? It's a dump. It actually is a dump. Seems like a dump to me. <laughs> well, there's a few shysty folks around. But give good neighbor a chance, and she might surprise you. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running. You do? Some bit of scrap. That sort of thing. You could do a Usually few here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. Oh, a job. What's the job? What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but hey. I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Don't. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Turn on. Delivery around. notice for a brewing machine. Pre war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact, which is where you come in. Turn around, man. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Okay, yeah, what's the catch? What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might uh -huh. have to shoot your way in. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? Sure. Well, is it large? Isn't brewing equipment going to be kind of large? Usually it is, but apparently this machine has been miniaturized, so that shouldn't be a problem. Are you going to take the job? Sure, it doesn't sound too hard. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. Okay. Is that anywhere near the Cabot House? Because that's where we're going. And if it's not... Oops, if it's not near the Cabot House, we're not going there. No, it's in the opposite direction, so we'll have to save that one for another day. Alright, let's head on out, Nick. Let's go, let's go to the Cabot House. No, it's not all the way light out yet. What time is it, anyway? It's, oh, it's almost 7 in the morning. Oh, no, the sun's shining. It's just... Shh, we're still in the shadows, aren't we? Okay. Hear something spooky. There's this old insane asylum up north, but it ain't abandoned. Not like it should be. Yeah. An insane and an insane what asylum. What you admiring? Clothes? No. I'm admiring my clothes. <laughs> oh, they still haven't picked up this guy, Finn. All right, how are we doing on ammo anyhow? Pretty good actually. So, all right, let's let's go. All right, here we go. Ooh, a tall, tall building. That's got to be the tallest building in Boston, hasn't it? All right, so Cabot House. Uh, let's see. So, we can just, uh, pretty much go straight there if we head that way, it looks like. Are they? Nope. Yes, they are. I wasn't sure if they were hostile or not, but they are. So, what are they? Stop! Turn around! Leave! Mass fusion. What? No! 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 Oh, there's a mine right there. Gunners. Of course they are. They're gone far. Nick. Come on. No, stop. Okay. Won't, uh, there we go. Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> Ow! Stop going in on that mine. Oh, okay, I don't have enough AP. You're in for it now. Ah, oh! <laughs> that was close. Engaging hostile. Oh, let's just shoot the mine. Maybe it'll. No. Oh, it didn't even work. What? Okay, you're on fire, Nick. There's more. Is there? No. Okay. Suppose someone should make you. Hmm. Combat shotgun. They must want to protect something awful precious. They do, huh? I am just dropping that. We're not going in there. I forgot. We are completely overburdened. I think we should probably go back to Sanctuary or somewhere and scrap some stuff. I actually have a lot of stuff I want to keep that I want to store in a chest or something. Oh, it's a skeleton. Alright, so we'll talk to Cabot and then, um, now which one of these is the Cabot? This close one. Over here. We'll talk to Cabot and see what he, what the, what the job is that he wants to, us to do. Boston Bugle Building? Where? Oh, right here. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to go in there either. I can't pick up much else. I really can't. Huh. Private property, no trespassing. Yay. Hello? I have a feeling that's where we're supposed to be going. Oh, this is handy. Good day to you! Good day to you too! So. No, it's coming over here. It's not. It doesn't. It's not hostile though, so. Um... Hi! This is private property. Yes, I know, I bet I was invited here. Is that okay? You're not gonna shoot me, right? He just... Keep... Okay. Cabot House. Like painting a huge sign on their front door. Rob me. Yeah, if you're stupid. Okay. Hey. Go away. What? Um, I'm expected. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. <laughs> okay. That was that was a little more rude than I intended. I. Okay. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Oh, so oh lead on. Oh wait a minute, I was putting my gun away and I it made me answer the Wow, you have a nice place here. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to <laughs> He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh damn. Clearly I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Hi. I'm Shane. You have a nice house here. The, this is... Nice. How do you keep it so clean? Well, that's not actually a, a question. It's how do everybody else not keep their places clean? Mm -hmm. so, oh, hi. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? 
Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Run along, Edward. Bring the Please. good bourbon. Have a seat. This place is more a museum okay. than a home. Nick, don't be rude. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time? Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. <laughs> Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Like aliens? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm hm. talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Um, aliens created civilization? You think aliens created human civilization? Well, maybe they should come back. Give it another shot. <laughs> yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, hmm. clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. yeah. Well then? I'd better leave you to it. Why did we'll you tell me all more that? about this some other time when things are less rushed? It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. Okay. Oh. You're officially hired. Congratulations. Um. Whoa. Uh, okay. Um. Hold on. My. I. Huh. <sighs> okay. Wait. Where are you? Oh, let me stand up. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, what was that about? What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. I guess so. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got okay. for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. Why don't There's black an eyes? important package that went missing between there and here. Okay. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? What's the package? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at okay. Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the we name spook you. It's heard just about a that. secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. Okay. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Um, yeah, sure. Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Yeah, that that's a good idea. Yeah, so we actually heard about that from that guard and good neighbor. No, wrong one. Wait a minute, where is it? Oh, here we go. No, this one. That's quite a ways north of here. The slot is- oh, it's up there! Uh, the slog. Wow, that's a long way from here. Okay, well, I suppose we could go to Malden. And then go over there. We could always stop in Green Top Nursery and junk some stuff. That would be really great. All right. All right, Nick. We got some work to do. We're just like jobs are lining up here for us, aren't they? Let's look around this really. Look at this floor. They must wax it or something. And look at this beautiful carpet. It's like. I want this in my house. You know, if I had a house, I'd want it in my house. I'm just... Oh. So he's got a lab. He does experiments, I guess. I'm, I'm not, like, 
snooping. I'm just snooping. No way to pick this. I didn't mean to. I just accidentally. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess they don't really want us snooping. Oh, right, we can open this door. Dining room. That's him. That's Jack Cabot. They have family portraits. Oh, I wonder who this is. That's a really old fashioned style to be wearing. That's, you know, that was something that was kind of odd to me. Then when he said his father was an archaeologist in. Where did he say? Where did he say his father was an archaeologist in? Somewhere in the Middle East, right? Huh? They still have archaeologists these days? And how did his father get there? It's not like there's any planes that are still running. We locked in. Oh, okay. <laughs> they gave us the key to their house. That's trusting of them. Okay. No, you don't need to bother. I'm leaving. Oh, I heard some gunshots over here. Okay. This is just the way we... We probably don't need to bother with it. That sounds like super mutants. Okay. <clears throat> Our objective is this way, so let's just go this way. <sighs> well, we suddenly have a lot of... Okay, then. Not doing that much good at this point. Huh. <laughs> Oh, okay, I can't loot that one. Nor can I walk across it, apparently. Oh, that's why I can loot it. It's still alive! A needle. Oh, 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 screws! Screws! Okay. How do we get out of the city? How do we get out of here? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's people on the bridge. That's not good. Are they not hostile? Hello? They don't look friendly. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna have to go over there. Hello? <gasps> no! No! Oh. Yeah! No! No! Oh my goodness. Just... Are you gonna... Wait a minute, what? They're not uh, hostile anymore? Oh yeah, don't don't mention it. Glad to see you made something of yourself. We're just gonna go. Nick! Who are you talking to? Don't mention it. Glad to see you made something of yourself. Were you talking to them? Did you do something for them once and they are not going to shoot us now? They recognize Nick. Hi. They don't want to talk either. All right, well, okay. Yeah, that was um That was kind of weird, for sure. <laughs> Go 
got a doll, baby, I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man 